Okay, we back. Dougie Grind Radio is the Show. We got a full effect. We in the building. We got a lot of things going on. We about to get into the topic of discussion. Of course, Brandon don't know what it is because we just kind of flim flammy. Um, <laughs> people say the topic, man. Like, what's going I on? I was supposed to have the topic. Yeah, we supposed to have the topic ready, man. Look, it's, 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 it's 22. You said 6.30 anyway. I know, I did say 6.30, but we're going to start it now. We're going to start the main now. I'm going to put pressure on you right now. I'm going to put pressure on you right now. I'm going to put pressure on you right now with the main topic. What? Does okay. anybody have anything to talk about out there as far as those topics? No, hold on, hold on, bro. Oh, let's talk about the Bill Cosby thing. Okay. Let's talk about it. I was going to call up entertaining me, but let me talk about that. We can talk about it Um. So all we know is there was a mistrial. It was a mistrial. Ten out of the twelve jurors uh, said that he was guilty. Uh, shout out to the two men uh, who said that he wasn't guilty. Definitely appreciate it. Because who can uh, basically convict Clifford Huxley? So let me ask you something. So it was only two men on the, on the panel. It was seven. It was seven men. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now when they first went in there, they all said unanimously he wasn't guilty. Wow. They said they took they took like just the. Started the, started the jury vote. How many people think he's guilty? Everybody said no. Then, uh, you know, once they saw the evidence, uh, they said that, uh, you know, 10 of the jurors said that he was guilty. Two men, two men were not budging, which is, uh, I hate to say dope, but it really, mm -hmm. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that y'all didn't get it. Because, um, like they said, they said, like, one of the jurors said that uh, the plaintiff, uh, the victim, yeah. uh, she said, uh, she went over to his house wearing like a midriff shirt and basically looking like she wanted it. Did uh, she look like a man though? She looks like Terminator. Uh, <laughs> that's what she looks like. Um, that's what she looks like. She looked under Taker uh, with the hat on her. Let me ask you messing with a, like, like that woman, she feel like a man. She walked in like a man. Yeah, that's not like, like, I'm like, no, Bill. no, not Can her. you imagine him hitting that from the back? No, I ain't gonna lie. There's some ugly girls that, that said that he tried to rape her. I, 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 it was some well, ugly Well, I mean, girls. they were all on drugs and drinking and stuff. I mean, I mean sometimes you bring people listen, home you don't want to bring home. Let me, let me tell you something. I take Benadryl all the time. You do? I don't get raped. What? I'm sorry. Huh? You don't get raped? Yeah. They, he, they, he, they, she said, they said that he gave her Benadryl. And she said, I felt drowsy. And he took advantage of Oh, Benadryl? Did Benadryl do that? I mean, I don't know. I, I ain't never seen Benadryl do that. I mean, if, if it does, I mean, that's a cheap date break drug if it is. The one thing is they knew they was getting themselves into. Yeah. You go over his house, he probably was smooth, they probably looked at him as Huxtable, they didn't look at him as Bill. Uh, shout out to the person who made that video of Bill Cosby dancing to Snoop Dogg. Hilarious. I didn't see it. Did, didn't see it? I didn't see it. I, I'll find it for you. I I I'll show it to you. I know. Hilarious. And I, I, I mean, but like you said, uh, Bill Cosby is 80 years old. Bill Cosby. 80? Yeah. He has a few years left. He a few good years left. Let that man, listen, come on. Really? You trying to put him in behind bars for the rest of his life? Really? They were it's for the rest of his life? Yeah. I mean, if he would have got five to ten, it'd probably been for the rest of his life. Yeah. I mean, like, really? So you think he's gonna check out soon? I hope not. He's a legend. I mean, you know, I hope Bill stayed around for a long time, but Bill looking shaky, baby. I see him. I was up there, <laughs> I was up there in Norristown. Bill looking shaky, baby. I was like, dang. I mean, uh, Rudy looked good. I give, I give Keisha Knight for you all the credit in the world. She looks good. Uh, so, by being a mistrial. Yeah, they're going to they're going to they're going to retry him. Uh, you think that's going to take a lot? I think it already has to. I mean, he's while the jury was deliberating, he stayed sometimes till eight o'clock at night. Bill Cosby don't want to stay in You ever been to Norristown Corral? No, man. No, I, don't know. I mean, shout out to Norristown, but no, like, man. Norristown. I mean, well, that, well, that's Montgomery County Corral. Yeah, so that's that's basically for everything for Montgomery County. But I mean, that y'all, you know, I want to sit here all day. I sat in there till two o'clock. I was mad. Like, come on, y'all, get me out of here. You know I mean, shout out to my lawyer. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, it, it's um. It's a shame, man, and and, for, and, and and you know I got an argument on Facebook about it, um, and and uh, a good friend of mine said, so you wouldn't convict 
Bill Cosby because he's Cliff Huxtable. Yeah. David Cosby. I said, yes. Yeah, that's she right. She said, now what if it was your daughter who got raped by Bill Cosby? I said, I would have told my daughter, don't come back no 50 years <laughs> later. I said, that's what I would have told her. Yeah, I mean, I was like, you're going to do it. Let's do it. Another thing that kind of pissed me off was the fact that the judge uh, ruled that the plaintiff's room, the, the, the victim, I'm sorry, I keep calling the plaintiff, uh, the victim's roommate said that, well, she had told me that she was trying to just get money from Bill Cosby. He said it was inadmissible. So, How was that inadmissible evidence? So let's talk about it. Okay. Let's talk about where though some of these celebrities who have money, they just can't mess with the average person. Yeah. Because it is some type of vendetta out of, you know, they make money off of them. You know, I feel like when you at a certain point in your life in the pinnacle, Whereas though you're making a certain amount of money, you just can't just randomly have sex with women. Mm -hmm. um, or even women just randomly have sex with men because they know it's a cash cow. Right. Right. You know? It's not about now who you are and just having sex with somebody. It's about like, yo, I need to get this bread up. This is what I'm going to do. Right. And a lot of people don't understand that. And mm -hmm. really, that's why a lot of some artists act probably a little worried. Famous, I mean, people that's famous act worried about being people around them because people are crazy. Right. You know, they don't know how to take people like they love what they do, but they be looking at people like, I don't know. I don't know. You know? That's like saying when you know when we get to the top, right? Right. And then you know we got celebrities. You don't you don't have to be all the way to the top. You can just have what I have. I have a regular state. Mm -hmm. Have a regular show. You know what I mean? Somebody just wants to really just have some type of notoriety for themselves just because they know me. Mm -hmm. Or they know you. Mm -hmm. Or they know um Shane here. You know, oh, you you carry man for the Terry show? Really? Oh, no. Wow. Okay. Quite, tell us something about it. How you been? <laughs> you know, they want to hang around you because they just want to be around that type of situation. So let's talk about that on the other side, man. Let's just talk about, you know, as far as the with, you know, famous people and what they deal with. We're not that famous to go through it, but it's speak, enough. Speak for yourself. Well, but no, it's a, it's enough to where though people do try to get in and try to get something out of it at the end of the day. I mean, we're not like George Clooney famous. Well, you get what I'm saying? He's to kill a couple for a billion dollars. No, I'm not George Clooney. All right, that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I'm talking about like the people that like really have high status. Like people are willing to do anything to be around these people. Okay. Let's talk about it. We'll come back on the other side. I'm going to get into it right now. Open um, bell by five grand. This is definitely a great motivational song that I like. I'm sure this video. Shout out to your boy, man. Um, we're going to come on the other, we'll come back on the other side. Shout out to everybody on Facebook. I mean, I'm sorry. Instagram Live right now. Shout out to my um, homie out in Cleveland. You know what I mean? She always tuning in. Shout out to... Um, go Golden State. Mo. Yeah, I know. Go, he said go Golden State because of Cleveland. Let me ask you something. Before I go into commercial break, and I know you're still in here, right? When y'all lost the finals, I was downtown. Because you already told me you should do down there. What was it like? Hit me up. Post something right now. Why? It, it, it <laughs> was mad. Bad. And then LeBron talking about going to uh, LA. LA? Yeah, dude. Come on. What's going on with your Wayne, town? Wayne, Wayne Wade on his way to Cleveland. Huh? You think so? You heard it here first. So, you really think that? Yeah, they're going to buy him out of this contract. Jimmy Butler's going there. How do you know that Dwayne Reed is going to Cleveland? Let me tell you something. I, have, I got a little bird that has an NBA insider information, and they're going to buy out this contract. Now, you know this, you, this is going to viral. That's fine. This is going all over YouTube, YouTube and everything. Yeah, heard it from me first. Can you zoom in on him? And when he's wrong, right, can you make sure you edit this shade? No, don't even edit it. <laughs> Tear his ass up on this. What? All right. Pause. Pause. What? I don't do attack pieces. Yes, thank you. That's <laughs> hate mail. Ah, no, but yeah, they're gonna buy my house. No, no, no. You're so predicting. Yeah, let's, just, let's use that word. That, that, okay, it's, so, a, it's a prediction. So, he'll be, he'll be. I, I can say honestly, say they're gonna buy my house. So right now, somebody's homie from Cleveland say, no, 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 bet not. He better not go nowhere. No, he's going. He's he's he's, talking. he's, he's talking about. It. He's talking. He's not going nowhere. Man. All right, let's get into it right now. Five grand opening bell, motivational song. Love it. You come back from the side the show. Yeah. Okay, we back. Dudley Brown ready to go to the Channel Series show. Um, that was my man, Five Grand. Had to play a couple of his tracks. We back in the building. I just want to get into the main topic before Antoine um, video extraordinaire uh, comes on. I, I just wanted to talk about. Um, so we we, we talk about the 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 the, 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 the uh, bad guy, the good guy thing, and then we always say like, how is it like? I know it's a common given topic that's always talked about, mm -hmm. but it's like. It's a never in a story to where as though it's, you know the consequences of it, but why is it that it's always intriguing to people to mess with the person from the opposite? 
side. What do you think, Brandon? I mean, I know women. Now we can't even say all oh, women. He say guys that mess with bad girls. Yeah, bad girls. Yeah, yeah I mean, I get it. Um, sometimes it's just sometimes you don't want to play it. Sometimes you want to feel like exciting. You want to feel like exciting. You want that to real. Um, I know a lot of I know a lot of females, some person who, um, you know, they're married, but they still they don't have an affair because mm. they feel that, you know, they're just, they're stagnant in their relationship and they want something new, something exciting. Because you know, a lot of times men, men and women, a lot of times when you're in a long relationship, somehow you get complacent, um, and then like you stop paying attention. So like, so I know you know a lot of women out there. I'm only saying it from experience because. I know a lot of women out there that want, you know, that guy that's going to pay attention to him. So, you know, they, they flock to the, oh, you know, the drug dealer, he don't have a nine to five. You know, he go out on the block, come home, and pay attention to his girl. Whereas the guy who got a nine to five might go out and work all day and is tired, come home, go to sleep. So, like, all you do is just work. Just like the girl said in the Tupac, in the Tupac song, all you do is work and come home and go to sleep. I that lazy motherfucker. That's how a lot of women are. And, I, I mean, it's sad that it's like that. I think you should. Uh, not, but they don't not play it safe, but guys, you got to put some spark into it. Women, ladies that do the same thing, you got to do the same thing. Yeah, that's the same thing. It's on both sides, you got to do spark. But I, you know, why would you put yourself in jeopardy of dealing with a drug dealer when you could get locked up, your house could get taken, your car could get taken, seized, that's evidence, uh, things like that. Why would you do that? Like, why would you mess up your life like that? And I, like, I, like I'm, I'm like Ludacris, I ain't never sold a drug in my life. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I sold some perks that the you dentist sold drugs, then. I sold perks that the dentist gave me. You sold drugs? You sold what? I sold perks that the dentist gave me. I don't like the way they made me feel. So you sold drugs? I gave it to somebody to sell. You oh, sold drugs? Uh, nice try, too. You <laughs> <laughs> Nice try. No, I never sold drugs in my life, so I can honestly say that. But, but so drugs. No, and I still and I still drive a nice car, and I still got my credit. I still get everything that I want. Ooh, bars! <laughs> <laughs> that was now that was high. You should write that. You said I still got my house and I still got my range over and never sold drugs. Ludacris, Ludacris already did that. He did. Yeah, so he why did. you not Ludacris? Ludacris already <laughs> said I and I ain't never <laughs> sold a drug in my life. It's actually on the song God of War. Yeah, release the release the therapy. You know what I'm saying? The album. I'm just saying, man, you I'm not rapping. You brand hard on I'm not rapping anymore, retired. What was your rap name again? Bruce. B A N N A. Bruce what? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to draw. Do some old drawing. You know, man, I'm not going to lie. I'm off today, man. Yeah. I'm off. I don't know what it is for me today. I think because of the weekend, it's just been crazy, man. It was a crazy week. It was, and it was long. And now, and now it's Sunday, and it's winding down, and I'm in here. My energy is a little low today. Oh, yeah. you know, well, me and Shannon pick it up for you. I know. Sure. We here. I'm drinking. I I'm feeling for I'm back, baby. I feel like you know, for me, messing with a a, a young lady that I messed with a, a, a she was hood, mm -hmm. and I was scared. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> I never. I was like 20. I was 20. She was like the way she talked. Tense. She like, don't you meet me down this block? Is where I live at. And I'm like, all right. So I went to go meet her. So I go to the house in a small block. I'm not going to say what block it is. Just let you know I was in the Southwest. Okay. I was scared. So I don't know what. Man. Were you? Hell yeah, I was scared. Oh, you in the Southwest? Yeah. Oh, you had right to be. So you had right to be. As soon as I walk in, she talking to me on the couch. It's like five dudes, six dudes coming in and out of the house. I'm like, I don't even know this one. I said, can we take a walk somewhere? We can go to my car or something like that. Like, I don't know. I don't. To me, I just didn't feel safe, man. She's like, what you mean you don't feel safe? I said, I just don't feel safe. The guys that keep coming in and out of your house, I don't even know what that's about. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel like this is not the place to be. <laughs> she was just like, all right, let's kick me around to the Chinese store. So, you know, all the hood joints, they love Chinese stores. I mean, four chicken wings, fried hard, you know. That's some fried rice. Some yeah, fried right. rice, man, they happy. Yeah, and right. you give them that, man, that's like giving them $100. Yeah, that's a good lift. That's a good lift. That's a Wasn't there like a song that went with that? Huh? Wasn't there like a song that went with that? Chicken Wings Fries? Yeah. Something like that, right? Something like yeah, that. All I know is, man, she talks about why you act like you don't like me. 
I said, well, first of all, you're very pretty, but you are too hood for me. <laughs> you seem like you know everybody. You got a couple of dudes shot. You're telling me, you're telling me that. What part? Well, uh, no, I want to say y'all say what part. Of man, listen, I just know it was off of Willing Avenue. That's all you need. Oh, okay, that, that's my old stopping ground. I mean, yeah, you stopped around there. I did. I didn't want to get. Sto- I didn't want to get stopped around there. Yeah. 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 Cause yeah. Yeah. I was like, look, this is killing all them. Killing all them would have been out there looking for yeah, you. Yeah, who? Killing all them. They'd have been out there looking for you. Who are you calling? Kill. Kill who? That's his. That's his nickname. Kill. What? His name is Kill. His nickname is Kill. You knew somebody named Kill? Yeah. Is it Kill what? I, I, and I have a cousin named Kill. Wait, wait, wait. How do people get these names? Killer. Guess what? So you. Mm-hmm. So what's the guy's name out there again? Killer what? Kill. You had a. Uh, had a lot of people out there, man. Uh, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. Anytime somebody repeat the same name twice, I don't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, 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 Boop, Boop, all that. Like, like this is the. Every time say you don't trust, you don't trust Bookie. Yeah. First of all, let me ask. Look, for Bookie, shout out to Bookie. Shout out Bookie. My whole thing is with Bookie. That's a name I would never think somebody would give somebody. I mean, that's his name, man. Bookie. Yeah. How you get a nickname like Bookie? Probably with his mom called me. I ain't gonna say what my mom called me. I hate it. Nah, go ahead, man. Come on, nigga. No, like, no. Nigga. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Nigga. Come on, man. Nigga. Come on, bro. You gonna keep saying, come on? No, it's not gonna work, Kent. Come on, man. I mean, name like Buki, Ryan, Ryan. I don't know. All, right. All I know is, is that I had to, like, really smart enough and get the hell up out of it. And I ain't never gonna see that girl again, man. I hate it. Because I ain't know what the hell's going on. Shout out 57th Street, man. Shout out 57th Street. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, there's one girl I did meet too, man. She was yeah, no, yeah. I don't mean any hood drawings. I like I, I like Ratchet. I like Ratchet. I know you do. I, I love him, Ratchet. I'm sorry, that's just me. It's my preference. Don't care if you don't like it or not. That's what I like. That's what I like. I get the attraction. Yeah, I just like Ratchet. I get it. So so what is it about Ratchet that he think they bring? Like what is it? I think it's just it's just like. I don't, I don't know how to say it. It's just, it's just nasty. Just, yeah, it's just like, just, mm, like nasty. that whole let me, life. Let me, let me spit on your dick. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Say yeah. Mother. We're going to come back on the <laughs> Terrence Young Show. I don't know what Brandon is talking about. This is another, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, it's another sidebar conversation here. <laughs> Shane gets it. Shane I get it. Gets it. No, I, get it. No, I get it. I just didn't think you was going to say that. I'm sorry. I, I mean, but you asked me. I, I mean, I know. But you had to be real. Yeah, but you had to tell him that. Come back on the other side, man. I want somebody <laughs> who's not ratchet. Jay Z, Beyonce, Shine. Let's get out. If y'all say ratchet, if you want. Beyonce's not ratchet. Yeah, we back. Deli Grind Radio. It's Terrence on the show. We live with full effect in the building, man. Listen, miss, we got a special guest in the building right now. We got an extraordinary videography, um, Living Loud Universal. We got my man Antoine in the building. Yeah. Yeah, what's good with you, man? How you been? What's going on? Man, nothing, man. Just chilling, working. I so see. Stay working, man. I see. So you got that. Uh, so what I wanted to talk to you about, you had did a, uh, a segment that, uh, that that hip hop. I call it like a hip hop eye. Yeah. Right. And it came out with the pen, like with the with the cops, everyone right. coming out and everything and all that. Yeah. What made you come up with that? And how did how did how did that that come up as far as the with that? How did that come up? How did the idea come up? Man, just. So I started out doing music. You know, everything was always music, music. I was engineering. I was, I, yeah. you know, everybody started out rapping. You know what I'm saying? Then right. when that, uh, you know, you just get that up. But always film was all my thing too. So I said, like, I wanted to put it together. Like put both of them together. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? And that's where it came from. So I like, I want to do something where I can bring in the music, keep the music going, and tell the story at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that that kind of made sense. It might make sense. So is is the web series? Is that Something you, I know when we talked on the phone, you said something about doing like as far as like a web series and things of that nature. Yeah, so that's going to keep going. It's kind of, uh-huh. that's going to keep going. I just put that out as like a little teaser, like an interlude type thing so uh-huh. everybody can know what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Know, know what to look for. So the engineering part. So you, you do the engineering studio. You got the packages for me. <laughs> I saw that. It's <laughs> really it's a good deal. Good deal. Let people know, like, huh, where, like, what's the package deal that you got? Yeah, I mean, like, like, I try to, like, 
I kind of shied away from doing like the engineering and everything and working okay. on like the main thing right now is the film. I mean, but I get busy with the engineering. Like I got a little mobile set up. I come to you, whatever. Or especially like with the web series, I got to always have. I'm always doing music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I got to have my equipment, have everything ready just in case I. It's hard to get back and forth in the studio. But when I do, I always go to uh, Global Warner and Global Warner Studio. My man okay. Coon, shout out Coon. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out Coon. <laughs> yes, I mean that's that's about it. Really, with the with the series, that's definitely going to keep coming. So, besides all the other films that I'm working on, I got some some crazy stuff, man. Like, so let's talk about it. Uh, like, let's talk about it. You know, as an expiring actor, you know. I'm oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, no, I'm always looking uh, for actors for real because it's hard to find people that's serious and really want to work and, and know what they're doing, like. Mm. And, and people come up to me like, yo, man, I act with stuff. Then, you know what I'm saying? As soon as the camera come on, they nervous Jones. You know what I'm saying? They so froze. Is there a lot of uh, proverb or is it actual scripts that far as the, what you're Scripts, yeah, I got, I got actual scripts. That's like, scripts. I just, man, I be writing all the time, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I be writing all the time. It's just the main thing is, is putting them together, like, getting getting that right cast and putting them in place. Like, I got, I got some stuff that's, that's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm going to try to get back down here when everything finished, man. I got yeah. some. It's, it's loud, How do you do? Man. I think you got some good stuff, man, as, as far as though, with the projects and up. What's the one? What's the one? Give me the one one that you're really working on when you feel as though it's like, yo, this is going to be the one. This is this is going to be the one. I got one that's coming out. It's called Two Face, and I'm actually the main character, so that's why it's going to be the one. <laughs> <laughs> Two-Face, I mean, let's, let's talk about it, because there's a lot of Two-Face people. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, and my character name is Face on the on the show, so it's kind of on the, on the, on the uh, film, so mm-hmm. I kind of like, like, when I do, like, write, I like, I'm into, like, suspense films and stuff okay. like that. Like, that's why I can't go into it like no, that. No, it's you don't know. Too too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it, it's, it's going to be good, man. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Everything is, right now, I'm doing everything based in, in Philly, but I'm, I'm uh, Looking to go to Cali in um, July. Yeah, I got some. I got some uh, family in Cali. Uh, I'm gonna go up there. You know what I'm saying, try to get some work done up there too. So I'm gonna keep yeah, moving, man. I'm trying to keep busy. You know, it's funny, man. You had a lot of people that say they write, you know, do movies, yeah, do things. You know, I know, I know a couple people that that I signed on to. Right. To do a couple projects, but yeah, they don't never follow through. They never follow through. And I'm like, yo, like, what's going? On? And, then, and then the times be messed up. Then you yeah. got you this person act, but don't know the lines, and yeah. you got this person, and it, it, it's like totally a, a big mess. Yeah, I, know, I know, I know. How do you keep everything focused on the projects that you do? Well, like for example, that uh, we can go into that like the sounds of the city that interlude that you seen. Yeah, it was dope. They, but they're not actors, and I got them because they they do music. So it was it was it was hard and easy at the same time, mm-hmm. but it, it was still kind of, it was like kind of in the middle. But the best thing about that, like I, I wrote the music, I wrote the music part. So I could have got actors, I could have got, but I just did, moving forward, I said doing music, I want you to be. You know what I'm saying? At least musically inclined, be able to rap. But I know a lot of people can and can rap and everything. And, mm-hmm. and especially if somebody else write it, they probably can get it. But uh and the and the dude that I had played a cop, man, he got that one take, one take jig. That's what I call him, man. He one got that. Jig. Yeah. I, yeah, I actually cast so funny I had had another guy playing the cop, white guy. Oh mm-hmm. man. It was, man, listen, that was a horror, mm-hmm. horror movie. Trying to get him to lay them bars. We was hours. <laughs> Yo, I'm hours. Like I'm like, listen, we on the Every bar on a time limit, you got to, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got he going over everybody else's lines when they supposed to come in. I'm like, oh, man, this ain't going to work. So, so with the overview, did you ever have to go into the studio first and, and, lay, and lay it down? Yeah, you actually. Yeah, we, we definitely laid everything down and, um, before beforehand. Like, I actually did everybody versus beforehand, and then we came out. So that part, so that feminine, that part was kind of like shooting a music video. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was easier because we going through everybody line, then we going through every part. Right, we can go through this angle. We can go through this angle instead right. of like shooting dialogue when you got to say the exact same thing over, but it's not you're not overdubbing anything. Mm. So that was that. So that's what made that easier mm. doing that. And how in, in this project, as far as with the police and thing, and you know, with that, like, what inspired you to do that? As far as with that, like, I like see everything I do. Like, I like the I like it to have meaning. I wanted the something that's going on. I'm not just going like. Not to knock anybody, you know. I watch, I watch a lot of web series on YouTube. Man. Yeah, it's up. It's like good, but man, it's like getting real. They corny, man. <laughs> wow. They corny. Stop being humble. <laughs> they corny, man. We know they are, man. We see them like, oh shit. You be like, oh, what the hell is this? But I know you gotta be humble. 
and that's fine. But I've seen them, and it's just like, come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got the, the, the talking before the person. Like, you know, you, you be like, they'll talk, but like, they'll talk it's like, ahead. It's like you're watching an a, a, a old karate movie. Karate yeah. 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 They killed my brother. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we'll kill my brother. They'd be like, oh, the ADR. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But believe it or not, like, yeah. it's, 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 them, them Jones be getting a lot of views, like a lot of, like, 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 like a lot of love, like, for, for them Jones. But that's why I watch my, I watch it, because I like the, because I like the, uh, I just like you know what I'm saying I like the industry I like I like film I like the I like the uh, mm -hmm. everything about it but it's just some of it be be a bad but you know I look at it and I learn from it like, all right don't do this what did they do what don't do this do, right. like damn this motherfucker had a hat on that scene then his hat gone I mean it's stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you see it all the time those errors yeah oh. and that's the stuff I look for with them that's why it took me a while. Writing, cause I'm like I'll be sitting there, man. I'll be in my head with stuff like that. People be looking at me like I'm crazy. Like I'll be outside, like oh, damn, let me chill. They think I'm crazy. No, no, but you, like, like, right. but you gotta yeah. do that, man. Like, that's what makes you tick to get something yeah. going. Do that shit. Right. You know what I mean? Cause that's the only way you gonna be great. I mean, all the great people had something weird with them. Yeah, I thought Terrence was weird. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Cause that's the only way you gonna be great. I mean, all the great people had something weird with them. Yeah, I thought Terrence was a weirdo when I first met him. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Thought he was weird. He's like, hey, man, I got this show. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was crazy, but like that. I mean, most people that have that passion and vision, they had right. some some type of remedy to make them click. Whatever gets them yeah. going. You know? Yeah, it's just um, yeah. But a lot of these films, like in series, they be like they be way off. Like it just be that don't really happen in real life. Like y'all having shootouts. Like I watch them. Like I watch. Uh, I watch one. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure y'all heard of it. Respect life. What's it called? Respect life. I haven't heard, but I look it up. It's good. It's, it's, it's good, but it's just like they have a shootout all the time. Every episode, a shootout, but nobody died. Somebody gets shot, nobody dies. Like, oh man! But that's the thing about it, though. Sometimes when you hear somebody look at these web series, not that I look sharp. Everybody doing the web series, you know. I give you credit. But sometimes I'm tired of hearing about this person shot, a bad person, yeah. this person locked up, this dude is snitch. You like, all right. So how this gonna go, man? Let me guess. This guy gonna kill everybody, and nobody's not gonna find out, and he's gonna win. Yeah. Like the thing is, like you say, it's suspenseful. Yeah. Let's get a turn on it. Let's that, let's and have I, something. I love suspense, man. That's what that's what I like. That's what I live for, man. I, I like, like, like a lot of people don't like the Tupac movie, man. I like that, John. I don't know why. I didn't see. I like. No. It. I heard it was factually inaccurate. I, I, mm. you know, I am a Tupac but listen, fan, and it it and. Like my cousin told my other cousin, he said, "Don't listen to nothing Brandon says." He's like, "Cause Brandon used to almost think he was Tupac, so he's going to pick every little part." You did? Let's not talk about the past. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> don't judge me. No, uh, no. But no, it was. I, I thought it was a, a good depiction of Tupac. It just right. they, they breeze through everything so fast. But you know what it is? You know the reason why I like it to be honest because it like if you if you look at like the stories you watch the movies nowadays, right. it'd be hard for like black directors, you know what I'm saying, black yeah. producers to get something greenlit. So that just make it, you know what I'm saying, that's what make me want and you like you can't gotta think they're not gonna give them a big budget for that. They right. they doing other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Tom Cruise and nothing. But they you. don't but they don't be caring up there, man. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's Hollywood. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, Hollywood. So let me ask you a question, right? So Benny Boom and some other who the other guy took on the project? Oh, uh, LT Hutton or something like oh, that. Yeah. Alright, so let's be honest, right? We got two pop men. Right. To me, one of the one 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 of the greatest rappers of all time. This is a legacy that you're doing. Benny Boom signed up to the project. I'm not mad that he didn't sign up to the project because if you get an opportunity to present yourself, you take it. Right. But that was a crucial time to where as though I feel like if you're going to do something like that, you should take your time and really, really do your research, research yeah. on the movie. Right. It's not like saying that he did a bad job, but people people so this is the thing, right? When you're dealing with the when somebody passed away, everybody's gonna have their own perception of how to yeah. deal with somebody. That's what, that's what I was telling somebody too. Yeah. I said everything can't be true because he he's not here. He's right? not here. So who telling? If, if it's a scene with just Tupac and just him and, and you know what I'm saying, where's that coming from? Well, why I put Jada, Jada Pickett in there? Jada Pickett didn't say nothing about it. J Jada, I, I thought you should have sat down with Jada. And actually got her input. Sat down with Jasmine guy. Got her input. Yeah. Sat down with Tretch. Tretch. And they say like he sat down. Tretch was like, I didn't say that. And I was like, dang. I was like, he must have said. And that's the thing about only only well put together movie to me and Hollywood. No, that was corny. You thought what? 
Yeah, okay. Okay. It, I didn't. I didn't read. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you only two of the seats movies that I liked that I think that was well um, was Malcolm X and um, James Brown. That was it. Oh yeah, James Brown, James Brown. Movie. Yeah, it was I mean, Malcolm X class and James yeah. Brown. James Brown was good. good. Yeah. I think Black but Black but Black but the thing was, wasn't he alive when he did that? Who? Uh, James uh, Brown. Brown. I don't know. Yeah, no, he, he had was, to be. He, he had to be because that came them. out. That came out like right when I think right when he passed. That right. came out. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he was around. So that was good though. So that's just so like Ray. Ray was a great movie, but he was around. Yeah. So the only one that wasn't was Malcolm X, and that was well put together. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but he based off the book. King was a good movie too. Don't I can't describe. I didn't see that. King was a good movie, and I thought they got the right person to play it. I mean, it was a good movie. That was a good movie. Because Lee, Lee Daniels is coming out with a, a Richard Pryor movie soon. But you see how long it's taking. Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Um, um, Mike Epps signed on to it. I said, didn't they get Mike I Epps? I did hear about that. Yeah. yeah. yeah I heard, I heard about but that. you see how long it's taking. Now, yeah. now, now, this movie is supposed to be, they talked about this movie, I think, back in, like, what, 2011, 2012? It is 2017. Well, I mean, it took a long star. time for the Tupac movie to come out, too. Just yeah, but that was 2011. No, the uh what's his name? Ship. He signed on to do Tupac movie. John Singleton. John Singleton. Yeah, they, he signed on to do it in 2012. And Tupac's mom didn't want that movie to, she didn't like the way they were doing it. So she said, I don't want it to come out. Right. Tupac's mom's not here no more. The movie comes out. I didn't see the movie yet, but I did say this about the movie. I was like, I don't really think so much of it is going to, people, people are not going to get so much of the movie. And I told him that before I came out, didn't yeah, I? He did. I did say that. But yet and still, I'm going to support it because I still right. want to still get my own personally yeah, perspective yeah. on it before I really truly speak on it. But I did say that just beyond the fact that I felt like the way it was looking, the way they was marketing it. And when sometimes when movies don't feel like they, that's going to be really well, they either push it back right. or they keep promoting highlights of it because they don't really think it's going to do so good. Yeah. You know, that's the one thing I got of it. So let me so let me ask you. So you like suspense movies? So what is the all time your favorite suspense movie that you've oh, finished? Though I got listen, man. I got so many. It's crazy. Not even and it's crazy. Cause I can't think of none of them. But I got no. I got like. But no, I like. I'm going like directors. I like the boy uh, from L. A. Um, the boy Antoine Fuqua. Okay. Um, Brooklyn's finest. Like it, Brooklyn. Like his movies just got that that look and it is just. How he how he do his movies is crazy. What Brooklyn's Finest? Bro, you seen Brooklyn's Finest? Yeah, look, all right, so let me look. All right. When I watched that movie, it was dope. But come on, man. Some of the stuff didn't seem realistic to it. Like right, the what? cops dying and then them dudes. It just looked like a video game. Oh, yeah. That, well, his, he do that sometimes. Like, I think he did. What's another movie he did? I think it was Streets with, the, with uh, yeah, it was Streets. I'm going to tell you how you know his movies. The dude, the dude uh, from Training Day. The bull bone, his yeah. little bone. Yes, yeah. he like from the. He grew up in like the, I watched the documentary on him, and he grew up like doing the gangs, the blood, the blood, and everything. And Antoine Fuqua put him in all his movies. You know what I'm saying? Put him on, but so yeah, the streets because he was in. Now was it streets? Streets was the one I thought that uh, with, with Common and. Yeah, yeah, that was Street. Yeah, I'm Street thinking about the one from Meek Mill, the Streets. No, yeah, no, 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 not right. that. Nah, I don't even remember that movie. That John was a. Uh, yeah, that John. <laughs> that John was a BET classic, right? Yeah, BET yeah. classic. <laughs> yeah, they drop a bomb on it. But no, man, um, you know, it's a lot of uh, uh, good um, directors in there, black directors, yeah. but it's not a lot of them that get their notoriety, like you said. Right. Like, I think know, Big Boom, that was his first project. That was, that's the thing, though. And I didn't even know he was still doing videos. But, all right. <laughs> so you're talking about this, right? F, what's his name? F. Gary Gray? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he did videos first. And then he started doing movies. But he, but he, he, got, he got the whole Fast and the Furious journey. Right, but he, look how he did it. Talent, John yeah. Singleton, right. right? All right, so I'm gonna tell you another one who did a uh, who did a movie that did videos, but to me it just wasn't good. <laughs> Hype Williams. What movie did he do? He did Belly. 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 Oh yeah. What's the best part of Belly? The whole movie. The, is the, I think the best part in Belly is the uh, the beginning scene. That's it. Oh, the scene. That's the music. That's music. it. That's, that's it. it. That's yeah. the that's yeah. part. Yeah. Everything yeah. else was just like yo. Where DMX is knocking off that chick. After she got mad at him, when they, when they trying to show the, the symbolism and how Nas live and how yeah. DMX lived, so they got Nas with his girl and yeah. DMX with it, he making love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. But it was one of those movies like it's dumb, but you'll still watch. It was a two-hour yeah. music video for me. That's what it was. That's yeah. what it was. It was a two-hour music video. It was though, cause I was looking at it. Yeah, yeah. It, it was with the acting, like Nas acting oh, and the yeah. boy in the basement looking all corny, like. Damn, you know, DM, I'm like, come on, man. This just looks like 
It was bad, right. bad. You only go that route if you have to. Like, you see, but I'm doing like the musical. Like, I gotta get the rappers. They might not know how to act, so it might right. be something. They might be on they, on their Nas. <laughs> might be on the Nas. Yeah. They might be on their Nas acting. John, he could have taken class or something but, before but, that. Uh, hey, Cameron did good in um, what was the movie called? Yeah, I'm it's the best oh, kid. Yeah, he it's did crazy. Do. I brought that up because I was watching an interview with uh, Wood Harris, and he uh, was talking about how Cam went off script, and he yeah, really stole the ball. Really stole it. <laughs> he the really stole the ball. When he pulled the ball out of the car. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said he really he really did that on his own. Like that. Like that is. But that's Cam. Like that's. He really stole the ball. Yeah, he said. Yeah. He said he. They did. Yeah, he really went in for that role. Him and McCall fighting under the hood. You know what I'm saying? All of them. So they really went in for that role. So he, he, out, he really man. stole it. Yeah. He stole it. <laughs> he said and ran. Yeah. Like in kept kept John. He yeah, gonna he say he rode the punches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he stole me. I just went with it. I'm like, you know, he rode with it. He rode with it. Nah, nah, it's not. <laughs> no, no, you no. Nah, I, I, we getting paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's not. No, no, no. We getting paid. It's cool. But if you gonna steal me, then I'm gonna have a natural reaction to stealing back. I don't care how acting mode it is. Nah, because next thing you know, you might not be in the movie no more. So no, he hit me. Okay. Right. He's gonna press charges. No, <laughs> yo, he hit me. I'm not supposed to hit him back. Yo, we were just doing that. Right? No, we're no, not. We hear something funny though. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say the name, but somebody told me like, hold up, sex scenes in movies not real. I'm like, yo, you mean to tell me all this time, yeah, all yeah. these movies, you think these sex scenes real? <laughs> hey, yo. I mean, all, I mean, I, 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 you were they not? No, real. It was a female. I mean, asked me that shit. I'm like, yo, you tripping? If you you think yeah. so, if I did did a movie and it. it you was gonna get some. Yeah, hold up. But it is real though. It, it is. It is like I. But so the, I'm gonna tell you a story. My grandma. I used to ask her. I'm like, yo, like, like Nana. Like they really haven't said. They just have on body suits. And I'm like, yeah, they do though. Yeah, they do. Really? They got on like like naked like body suit type. Yeah, like oh, yeah. if you undercover, like yeah. and it's all in the camera. Like that's why if you notice you watch a movie when it's a fight scene, when it's a sex scene, the camera fuck with you. Like that shit moving and shit, yeah. different angles and shit. Ain't shit really happening, but so they just gotta man. make it. Look at but with J Lo, yeah, no, not J Lo. Uh, uh, what's the uh, uh, come on, Brad Pitt and um, what's, what's, what, 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 they just got a divorce though. Brad Pitt and Angelina yeah, Jolie, yeah, yeah. they got together on that movie, Mrs. And Mrs. Smith. But that was husband and wife. Not then. Yeah, no, they they met on set on that movie. They oh, met on oh. set. Yeah, you not going. You you filming a movie about two to three months, and you got to do kissing scenes, <laughs> licking. Come on, man. That's like that's like me. That's like come on. This is some people, some, some, people, some people get together that way. A lot of people get uh, together on set. Look at uh, what's my man, Ashton Kutcher at um, my Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm sure that, that, that when they was on uh, set, what was that? Monsters Ball. That seventy show. Yeah, but that's no, like, I remember like a controversy movie. with Monsters Ball, John, because that John was kind of crazy. You remember that John? Yeah, that that scene was kind. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, he he knocked her off in that. <laughs> yeah, he knocked her off, and that was real. That was real. <laughs> I don't care what nobody uh, said. Uh, he really knocked her off. I don't know. I heard how like, she going like when I was watching like um something like how she did like I think it was her first movie too. Was it? I think um Jungle Fever. Yeah, yeah. Jungle, yeah no, was Jungle Fever. Something like uh Strictly Business was her uh, thing. All right, remember on Jungle Fever, she said she like washed up in like two weeks. Like she was really getting the character. Remember she played the crackhead yeah, with, uh, she, with, with with Gator. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah uh, but you gotta wash up though. Nobody can't smell you looking at the TV though. Like come on, man. Like you serious? Yeah, you, I mean, some people, a lot of people do get in the character, which is good, but um, uh, Keith Ledger, what's his name, Keith? Uh, yeah, Keith Ledger. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he locked himself in the room for a while to get down that Joker pack, like, as far as the way, but it drove him crazy at the end. Right. Killed himself. Yeah, that's what be happening, man. You try to stay, like, playing different people because you want to be that person. Like, you got to mm. be believable. That's why, and I, uh, like, I was telling the dude that played the cop, I said, you want people to hate you. You want, you want, you want to look at, I want to look at you and say, that's fucking motherfucker, that's the boy that killed the you know? yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, when you watch Power, like, like, that bitch, Angela. Yeah, she's she's like, she's doing your job. Yeah, she's doing her job, yeah. So, so, I mean, yeah, I guess the biggest dream for you, get to Hollywood and get in Hollywood. You know you know what you know what I think is missing in, in Hollywood, period? A lot of black movies don't come out anymore. Yeah, the Miss Society, the Poetic Justices. Yo, I was listening to a lot of you know, I was just saying, I was just no it, it be these I mean you get the ones that think like a man and all like yeah. you don't get you get them that ass Christmas yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris, yeah. This, yo, it this one John this Christmas with with Chris Brown, then another John came out with the other bull uh 
Almost Christmas. Yeah. yeah your yeah, almost yeah. Christmas came out. Like, God, I'm, trying see Christmas Christmas. I'm trying to see my day on every I'm damn thing. Thanksgiving or something. I'm not even mad at the day because I'm like, I am. No. no. I'm tired of looking at it, man. Get your, get your money. Ride that joint. They're going to kill you. I just, I just got a thing with just like, yo, he's a great director. I mean, great writer. I'm tired of seeing But my thing is, yo, but, but, but. All they do is take like black stereotypes and, and over exaggerate. Yeah, and it's and the same thing. Throw them in there, huh? Huh? But they are paying this man millions. I don't they care do. what they pay. Yeah. Let's stick to the art. Let's stick to the let's let's, let's create something. Let's deal oh, with money. It. Listen, <laughs> I know what you're saying, but, but but listen, it's a responsibility for us as well, especially for black directors. But he comes out with other conscious. Black like movies. what? I'm tired of seeing every time we watch him. Oh, he's gay. Right. Or, or, or like 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 why did he have to paint that image all the time of us that way? You know why? They you know what I'm saying? Cutting, they keep cutting them checks. That's why. Right. They keep doing still it. though, dog. Like we got, but it's still other. It's still certain scenarios. Mm-hmm. Like like what's the other movie that came out? Was it Midnight? What was the movie called? Um, Moonlight. Moonlight. Probably was supposed to be a good movie. What happened? Boy, okay. I'm like, no. oh, oh, but Tyler Perry tried. Yeah, but Tyler Perry tried, yeah. tried to play that cop. What that was everybody, What everybody said? Trash. It was. He, trash. Trash. he was best to stop on the Ninja Turtles. Everybody said trash. No, nah, I disagree with that. Well, that movie was he cool. He played that. He, he played all. I, 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 I like it. But people said it was trash. Yeah. But everybody said, like, "Oh, this is the end of Tyler Perry's career." Then he said, "Well, we'll give you forty million dollars to play in D." What? Go do it. Go go ahead. I ain't even mad. So go go get your money back because you they go, they about to end your career. No, so that's what you had to do. I mean, sometimes you have to do what you had to do. Now I ain't saying Listen, be gay. I ain't, look, and I love my but, yo, but like, I never, I stopped watching Moonlight. Like, yeah. I, I watched it, but that joint was kind of like, throwing mm-hmm. me off, so I turned it off. But as far as like the, I don't know who directed that movie or nothing, but as far as like the camera angles and everything, that joint was hot. Like, as far as yeah. just like the camera angles and how to set the scenes up and everything, that was dope. Like, I, I like that. Especially that beginning scene, it was hot. I ain't, and then it I, threw me off. Man. I ain't really, I ain't, I ain't watch it, man. I, ain't, I just couldn't, because the thing is, it's like, why do we always have to watch? Like, why can't we come out with something now, real? Like, like, like something that's really going on as far as though in real life. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a movie that was good. The Chicago movie. What was it called? That Spike Lee did. Chirac. Nobody liked that but me. That was a good movie though. No, and I think it. Was, I think it was genius. It, it, it was. I didn't even notice the poem, and people say like, and that, that's like kind of where I was going, like with the music type. But they was right. It, it did get kind of annoying a little bit, but right, that's because Nick Cannon was playing. Man. Right. But, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, he did good. The nigga was Nick Cannon. He did play that part. It was a little, yeah. over, it was a little over dramatic. <laughs> but it was, it, 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 but it, it was a message behind it, and that's what people didn't know. That's what they don't get. That's yeah. what, that's, and that's that's why Shot I like right. the movie so much. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. it's a message behind it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not good. glorifying everybody killing and everything. He's showing like, yo, this was going on. Like, going y'all don't see. Like, y'all need to know. Yeah, like, know. yeah. we we need movies like Menace of Science to come back. We do. We know. We need to know that was what he said. He's gonna try. Yeah, he's not gonna try. He's gonna do that. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do that. And these actors, I'm gonna be out. Yeah, I'm just going. All right, no, no, no. I feel you. You're you, you, you good. You could be the boy that felt like in Friday. Like, the, what's the boy name? You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you be your great job. I can see you doing. I can see you playing the Santa Claus on Friday. Last, on the last <laughs> job. That's cool though. <laughs> That's cool. Bro. Like my job, like <laughs> you be him. You be smoking Santa. I'm not job. Y'all take both of them characters and do a whole new young. What, what, what's, the, what's the name? It was uh, the Santa Claus. Who you was talking about from Friday? Uh, what's the boy <laughs> name? He said, How do you, I didn't think that. Oh, you're <laughs> yes, yes. I can see you playing this. Uh, man. Oh, so, that, I'm an extra medium. I'm an extra medium. Just how I like that. Just what you think about Get Out? I like that, John. Like, I, I liked it. Uh, Everything about that joint, like even and I used to, it's crazy because I watched Ken Pill, but mm-hmm. and people ain't understand. I used to tell people like, yo, you know the ball, he he, I said that's his movie. He like, like for real, like yeah, everybody just because you do comedy, don't mean you can't be everybody serious. Exactly. You yeah, can't yeah. you can't be serious. That's just your niche. But I think he killed that joint. And they everybody like, man, they come out with part two is gonna be corny. This cause, I'm saying like just because he come out with part two, that don't mean it's gonna have to be. Uh, just right off of what happened, like him and the, and the, and the dude I, leaving. They ride in the car. I don't, I don't think they start riding. It could the car. be a prequel. It could be and like this. is What I think yeah. about that movie. They got everybody in, so everybody like, yo, this, this what they doing and shit. So they know that everybody got the message to that movie. Mm-hmm. So the prequel can be they can have something just 
like a why, like a what's going on, because everybody, everybody gonna go see it because right. they got him in already. Show you know what I think? Show how the grandma and the dad. I think he he's gonna do another movie, but not like that. No, I think he got he got it signed on for that John. Well, he, he got, got signed on for another movie, but it's not oh, necessarily that, Get Out Two. Yeah, it's uh, just another like yeah, social. They signed, yeah, they signed. That's what I mean. Yeah. Social yeah. 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 About, I mean, that would be, you know, that's a good, you know how, you know, they were like, all right, well, you're going to do two movies for us. I'm going to do what you said, right? I'm going to sign, I'm going to do a movie that's touching anything. I ain't going to, you know what they're going to do? They're going to give you some money. I ain't gonna think like that no more and shit. That's mm-hmm. what my man told me. Say, mm-hmm. he said, that's why shit. Cause people that come out with these movies that that mean something, you know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, we can't have this, seeing this. They gonna right. change. They gonna say, give them some money. Give me hundred thousand. What are you gonna do? They ain't gonna do shit no more. You, I'm gonna be doing Tyler Perry shit. They are gonna be like, yo, why you? Don't, you? I'm like, no, I don't think like that. No you, you know what it is? I'm I got money. <laughs> Hollywood is running out of ideas. All right. So that's now, so many remakes. Yeah. Now, now exactly. a lot of consciousness, awareness, movies are coming out yeah. because that movie get out. You know, they're like, well, man, he, just, he made a hundred. There's money there. There's yeah. money there. So now they're going like, well, shit, bring it out. Like, Black Panther coming out. Right. Well, I mean, Black Panther. Well, that was in production, they, I think, they, for a while they, before. They, I mean, yeah. they, that was announced back in, like, 2013, that was 2012. Part of, that's part of the Marvel Comic Universe. We knew that was coming. All right, but we just didn't know it was still a dope. I'm right, coming. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with my dashiki watch that. <laughs> <laughs> for real, man. I mean, all everybody, my daughter, everybody, like, come on, let's go. We gonna have a hat and one there, you think? Same. They're like, oh, we know movie y'all wanna go see. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's good though, man. So, um, so with the projects coming out, like, as far as working with some of the actors, did you ever run into any actors that gave you a hard time? Like, as far as though, whatever, anything is. Just... Nah, nah. It's just the main thing with this, like, going is just getting everybody schedules and times together and getting mm-hmm. them at the right spot when you need them and, they, and they, one thing i know a lot of actors do like what you got to be as like a director is you got to make sure you take charge because they always want to change what you're doing they always and i got the vision so that one change can mess up everything like mm-hmm. they be like no instead of doing this we're gonna do this. nah because that mess up this this is for a reason mm-hmm. like everything we're doing is just for a reason we can't change that you know what i'm saying but that's when you got to come in you got to be like stern as a director like and and is and is keep and is keep your vision because they yeah. they'll try to tear your vision apart and the heartbeat. Mm. Tell me, they change your whole gender yeah. around. You ever curse somebody out? Like no, motherfucker, I don't want it that way. <laughs> I, I, I have to do that. Yeah, I've seen some actor do. I've seen the director do that before. I was like, I don't even you know. know. Probably, yeah, yeah. It's good. like going forward, like a lot of stuff I'm going on when we working with like a lot of different actors, and I I see my vision, so I know I'm gonna probably have to do that. I'm gonna probably have to be like that. Like if it was a perfect project that you could do. What would what do you think? What would you like make it about? Like, they, let's say Hollywood just can't say, "Hey, unlimited budget." What kind of movie do you think would you make? Yeah, um, no, man. Yeah, yeah. What movie would you make, man? <laughs> like, like, a, like a remake or like this? Uh, if somebody anything. gave you, like, this is it's five million. No, no, hell, five million. It's one hundred fifty million. One hundred fifty million. Okay. Man. million. What type of movie? That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of money to make a movie. That's like black. Yeah, like what would you That's like Transformers like budget level. Yeah, yeah. Like, what would you make? Like what, what, would you what type make? of like what, what do you think you would do? You got free range to do anything. Oh, that's crazy because I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I know it just I, it's crazy because there's gonna be something with a meaning. That's all I know. It's gonna be something that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff that's current, stuff that's going on now, so people can see it, stuff that people overlook. A lot of things get overlooked and you can it's a movie, like that's what like I always say like I'm I'm like when Brenda's got a baby like that that's my voice you know what I'm saying and she she not being heard I'm going to be heard for her you know what I'm saying so it's a lot of things going on just no matter what it is like especially like in the end this happened in Philly this happened in other cities like mm-hmm. but the main thing is like us dying getting killed by cops and all that no justice and everything but they they come out with stuff like that like I watched this show called Shots Fire you ever watched that I heard about it. I heard about it. But it, it, the twist in the end, like, was kind of like crazy. But they, they kind of like twisted, like it was like a black cop that shot a, a, a white teenager. Yeah, so they, yeah, they kind of twisted. So it was kind of like it, then it was like another little B plot in it as well when the cop shot the, the other kid, the black kid. But I mean, it was alright. But I, hey, if I do something, it'll be something like with me and like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, at least Friday, like Friday four or something, man. We bring that out. They, they, keep, they keep putting these fake Johns out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I keep, I keep, I keep <laughs> going for it too. Like, they, yeah. said, they said, they said they really, yeah, they said you time before they said they, they, yeah. they said they, uh, yeah. Pops was like he had some talks with him. I seen Pop backstage on oh, Mike Evans doing like a little documentary, John. Yeah, like, it's yeah, coming. Yeah. I've been watching Pop, it. Pop said he he tried to get that check. He said yeah. he, he wanted to do it for it. like that check. I know that's like Pop. But uh, so if there was an actor that you could work with, who? Yeah, who would have been? Uh, 
porn actress, actor, actress. Yeah, actress. Um, oh, man, what's his name? Man, I don't know. I forgot. Don Cheeto. Don yo, Cheeto. he, yo, Don Cheeto, yo, yeah. he, he the most like if you, he underrated as an actor, man. He, yes. he comedy, funny, yeah. uh, he versatile. He do suspense movies. I seen him play a terrorist. Oh, uh, like on uh, this one movie, like he just is he, like he, he been doing it for a while. You, you, you know what's good? What he was good at the first time I saw him. Devil in blue, no Devil in the blue dress. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I have never seen that. I didn't even know. But Denzel Washington. I'm gonna tell you his series House of Lies. That's my joint. Yeah, love that. Man. Man, that was dope. House of Lies. You never seen Devil in the blue dress? No, I got that. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta check. I'm gonna call you when you're crazy. Cause I don't really like Denzel, man. Huh? That's interesting. That's interesting. Denzel. That's like, <laughs> Everybody's entitled. So, so, so tell me why. Tell me why. I feel like I feel like he don't go out his element. Like I feel like he's the same character. He the same character. Like he like Will Smith kind of do the same thing too. Like mm-hmm. he don't go out of his element. Like you don't. So it's kind of like easy to him. He not going out like I'm gonna do this. Like I'm gonna, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Like you notice like Don Cheeto. Like he he do everything. Like, right. Not like a Sean Penn too. Yeah, yeah, like they, but Sean Penn used to go out, like, he, he, yeah, he, he had out his yeah. element. Oh, yeah, like, they, they don't go out your element, like, I want to be, like, I, I want to be uncomfortable, so I want to be able to say, you know, I got to change, I feel like Denzel and Will just go on the movie set, like, I'm going to do this, like, the movie Collateral Beauty, like, he don't really go out, like, you think of all his movies, it's, like, kind of like, the same guy. and that same, yeah, he like the same guy. Oh, like, he like, trained there was only one that went out his element. Exactly, yeah, and he like, 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 so that like you know, one over thirty one. Oh, no, the other John. The, the, I like this character in that Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah, I like this character. He was, yeah, he was. Right. Right. He was right. It was a good movie, but I mean, what Will Smith the Suicide Squad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Will Smith the Suicide Squad was literally just Will Smith in Suicide Squad. Because he was that, he was that, he was that like that. It kind of brought you back to like his comedy in there. Kind of brought you back to like Fresh Prince, like yeah, yeah. like kind of like that. So it's it was like, like being like just totally yeah. serious. Like but I like these movies. Though, that John Pursuit of Happiness. That was my movie. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Then I like at the Pursuit of Happiness. It was like that same wave, just all the movies like that same way. Yeah, yeah, it's comfortable. Um, so what do you think about Kevin Hart? Because Kevin Hart mm. is right now, he's the he's big, yeah. but I don't think Kevin Hart really stepped out of his element. Star, he started starting to fizzle a little bit. You think yeah, so? Yeah, I think I think what it is is like one movie he did I didn't like, but when I thought about it, uh, the movie called Get Hart, yeah. I didn't yeah. like that movie. I didn't like it. Either. But when What's I thought about it is that's not his movie. That's that's a uh, Will Ferrell, Ferrell movie, movie, so they made sense in my eye. But really, I mean, what, what, I mean, with a comedy like that though, it's sort of like a, it's like it's both of theirs. Movie. Yeah, you know but I mean? yeah. Like, so if he was like the man, if it wasn't Will Ferrell, I'd be like, man, that movie trash. Kevin Hart need to step it up. But man, I, I, I love Kevin Hart, man. Like, I like you too, but man. But everything so, like. Yeah. He, I think the stand up should just kind of like fade out, like yeah, the stand because it get, it's getting repetitive. It's like the same thing. It's right, like, yeah. you, you can only talk about sell about so much. So it, it wasn't like back in the eighties, like with Eddie Murphy, where the movie come out for a year, or you had to hear about it to go. You had to go see it to actually be a part of it. Yeah. You know, now it's so much outlets for people to see things visual. People right. get tired quick. All right, what's the next big wave? Like, like you could go yeah. see Cab at an end. At the last, well, you could you could have went and seen him at the last house, and then you go to his comedy special. Like it's the same yo. Like wait a minute. But you know what I want though? I want the Waynes, just all the Waynes to do something. Marlon, Sean, yeah, like, oh, yeah. yo, that'd be hot. Like yeah. they wave was crazy. They probably don't even got. They probably got so much money, man. They yeah. probably say, yeah. the only one that's really out there, really working. Damo, Damo ain't still doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, Marlon, that's about Mar- it. Marlon more did. money. Marlon just came to town. Oh, yeah. yeah, more money. More like, money. So- more all money. All those movies back in the late eight, early night. More mm-hmm. money. Boomerang. Yeah. Yeah. Like with Eddie Murphy, like what happened? Like what? The, what is going on around here, man? I mean, these movies need to come back, man. You know, I'm talking. Uh, you know what movie I love? Harlem Nights, man. Oh, Classic. Nights. But you gotta think about it. Sinai Lathan, um, Idris Elba, Omar Epps, Tate Diggs, all these black actors. You know what I mean? It's just like I mean, you should I like Tate Diggs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah Tate Diggs. Yeah, yeah, you need to get them together and do something, and it's gonna take a lot of money these days. I understand. But they now they always do those. Them, um, like how Ocean 11, 12, 13, they get that A1 class, like A1 cast, yeah. where they do, uh, but then they, that was a while ago, like the party, they had that, they had that A-list class, uh, that A-list, um, cast, mm-hmm. but then that movie ended corny, man. You think so? <laughs> See, I thought it was corny, but then, yeah, that movie was good, until you get to the end, like, man. That's not so, I, think, I, feel, I like, like that. Everybody died. Like, you I like say a, a, another story to something, like, hey, literally everybody that was in the mix died, so nobody knew nothing, really. Except for Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg, he knew? No, nah, he didn't know. Yes, he did. He went over to the uh, and killed uh, Matt Damon. Yeah, he killed Matt Damon. Remember Spoilers. But why didn't he lock him up? Huh? Spoilers, man. That movie like... Well, no, I mean, 
I mean, I think, I think the ending of that movie is that, like, I mean, corruption runs deep, right? Which yeah. is why you see, like, the rat on the railing at the end of that movie. Yeah. Which is, like, it's, I mean, is that it's, it that's never ends. That, yeah, that's stuff that directors do. That's, it's and it's, it's that kind of thing that, like, it's, yeah. you're not, it's not supposed to be, like, a definitive end to that necessarily story, but it's, like, it's that kind of ending that, like, where you walk away makes you think afterwards. Yeah. I like the best man. Like if they come out with another best, as long as it ain't Christmas, man. I'm yeah. Not <laughs> because yeah. maybe Easter or something. Man. I don't, I don't like the best man. The first one was good. The second one was just. Sad. Oh, the second yeah, one was, was sad. sad. It was good though. It was, it was good. good. It was good. George Chestnut yeah. played that part, man. He, he did. Dude. He did. Yeah, somebody smashing your wife and that's your man. It's just like. He, he manned up though. He took that on the chin. Like he had tears in his eyes at that altar. I was like, yeah. Like, I felt. It. I was like, yeah. I understand, bro. Yeah, I was he, he, like, but 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 he wasn't no saint, man. Yeah, so yeah. like he had to like really take that on the chin. Right, but that's how I be, though. You man, some hundred fifty girls. You girls must have one dude. You that's say, right. Yeah, you break down. Right, and it's your man. Whoa. And it's your man, you know, by it's your homie. I think that's the part that got it. He probably could have accepted it more if it was somebody else, but the fact that it's homie did it. Yeah, that makes sense. But no, they gonna, I think they're going to make it three. Like you said, uh, uh, Terrence Howard, I think he's going to get married or something. So hopefully, like you said, it's not Christian, but I hope so. Yeah, Terrence Howard's going to get married. Mm-hmm. The drama mm-hmm. part's going to be his. You're going to have Omar Edge trying to find another girl. He's going to bring somebody around. It's going to be something with that. Wow, you, you think, see it now. No, you, uh, you, I mean, he's going to still be with his wife, though. Not one more ass, I'm sorry. You mean Tate Diggs? No, uh, more chest. Yeah, because he his wife died. Yeah, so he won't probably break somebody. Oh, was the movie like, when the, the what movie was it? When the um the husband had died and, and Dwayne Johnson, he had pulled up on her, he came up on her and she was all smiling. It was Janet Jackson. Why did I get married too? Tyler Perry. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. so stupid. <laughs> you know, he just all the time. Movie out. Out. <laughs> he just hey, all of a sudden he died in the rock show up and everything is all peachy. Man, get the fuck they just out of here, man. It was like six months. Yeah, yeah man. What the fuck that movie? That's a great shitty ass movie. Come back here on the side, man. Tyler Perry, man. Get step your game up, man. Yeah, Tyler, you cool with me, Tyler. Yeah, yeah, I got great. trying to do it, man. Like, we about to go you see his house? house? The hell with his house, man. You going to come to hell with it. Yeah, but stop. Stop. Nah, man. He got his money. He ain't, it don't matter. We're going to come back on the other side. We're already on the Tanner Simmons show. We are in the building, man. We got my man Antoine in the building, directly. Definitely here, man. We got a lot going on, man. Um, we just talking about visuals. We talking about as far as the uh, uh, directing, as far as the I feel like you know in the industry myself, I feel like it needs a lot more African American directors in because a lot, of, a lot of movies that's been coming out has really been trash. Yeah, a lot of things been trash, and you need more creative writers such as yourself. In that industry, especially in Hollywood, because they know they run out of ideas. Yeah. So you got to go even more and let other people in to do things. You know what director I do like though? He don't really make a lot of equipment to the team though. Mm. I like no, that. he just had that song all day. What you, um, that, what's that? A joint? 2014. What? what it, it came out in uh, Christmas 2014 was uh, Hateful Eight. Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't done anything since then. Yeah, Hateful Eight. No, no, or 20, that might have been 2015 I'm actually. I'm from Philly. Uh, What's his name? Uh, M. Night Shyamalan. He just has Oh, yeah. Split. 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 Like that's, that's oh, what I like. Like that just threw you off. Like yo, I saw that man, and at the end, when he told him it was like when he saw that the girl had the scars or yeah. whatever, and he was what did he said at the end, man. Like he said, I forgive you. Well, I said, you understand. Yeah, that was good. He's a hell of an actor. Yeah, yeah. that yo, the he play- made me believe. All of those characters. He's from my last time. He was one wanted, and he was in. Um, he played Professor. Uh, yeah, um, Professor X and X Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he wanted. He was dope and wanted. But yeah, like, he's, he's a actor. hell of an actor, man. Yeah. I mean, you could do stuff like that. You, you right. Just imagine how like this is how you gotta get in. Like the old dude ripped from me off with when when you hear the girl out there talking like, oh, somebody out there. He got a chick with him. This dude come in in a dress. Yeah. He, changed, he be changing his whole life with a whole another person though. Yeah. Like you know, it's crazy. Like that's a good movie, man. Oh, wow. 
Devin's Yeah, nobody liked him though. In Night Shyamalan, like nobody. I like Devin because he had a lot of really crap movies. Bombs. I yeah. like the John Devil. That was good. It made sense. Devil. That was part of Philly too. Yeah, Devil. Oh, was he awesome. knew everything. Yeah, yeah. Signs. Sign. Only yeah. one. I think it was his. Right, the happening was that his. The happening was his. Oh man, but see, like, who was it? Uh, was girl that? in the water. The or? Lady in the water. Lady in the water. That was trash. I was so mad. I, I and the vi- and everyone's upset about the village because yeah. the village was like, oh my no, god, there's monsters no, in the forest. No, and then there was that no was monsters good. in the forest. I've never seen it. I don't know. Oh, I've seen it. Like, oh, oh, I mean, you got yo, you got look. So the twist, the do. twist is really lame. The twist is that no. they're living in a no, man, I'm it. <laughs> it's, it's a boring twist. You don't want to watch it. Yo, bro, you like suspense, right? Watch the movie. I want you to go back and tell them how trash. No, look, look, you gotta watch Devil in the Blue Dress. And you gotta watch um, the village. Watch them too, but watch them early in the watch morning. Maybe one of those. Watch, no. <laughs> yeah. watch, 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 just watch one of them. No, no, watch both. Watch, 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 watch no, 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 watch both of them, but watch them in the morning when you stay up. All right, don't watch them late at night because you might manage yourself. Yeah, you might fall asleep. Just to let you I know. stayed up all night to watch this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but to me, I thought it was a brilliant, excellent idea how the twist of the village was. It really was. It really was. Yeah, yeah. So listen, man. Is there anything that you want to talk about? I mean, I mean, I know we about to get out of here though. Wrap the show up. Is there anything you know, that everybody know how they can reach reach you and yeah. uh, Facebook is Antoine Live Loud Saunders. Uh, Instagram Twine Live Loud. The, the YouTube page is Live Loud Universal. Go to the YouTube page. Don't just watch the videos and just and and just leave. Subscribe so you can. Cause I'm gonna come out with. Listen, I'm about to go ham. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be stuff. You know what I'm saying projects coming out all the time. So. Definitely subscribe to get the updates and everything, notifications. That way you can keep in touch with them going, man. So Twine Live Loud at the uh, other Instagram, Live Loud Universal. Twine Live Loud is the main one. It'd be hard to get them saying, keep all them social medias popping, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. So my main job, I'm like, oh, I got one for the series. I got one for like, man, listen. We got to definitely like, do something, though, man, like, as far as, uh, sure. like, write something. Yeah, well, whatever, man. I mean, I know you got a lot of your hands is full of that. But in the near future, though. Yeah, right now I'm just focused on the fam anyway. Like, oh, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm available for our project. <laughs> <laughs> we get this man something, man. Holding the ice cream, right. something, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, I'm oh, just. Oh, oh, no, but no. All since your brain is a good actor, though. Yeah, okay, he's definitely making you know what I'm saying? Everything I try to do, I try to get on IMDb because you never know who might see it. So like, you never know. So that's a lot of things people just put out stuff and they don't get the IMDb credits, man. That's my go-to. I, any anything, any arguments and everything, I'll be debates like, yo, he was in this, he was in that. I'll be right on IMDb. Mm-hmm. No, he wasn't in it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pay me. Yep. <laughs> you know, you know what movie that um, happened? What was the movie called? Uh, I don't know, but it was like Boys Don't Cry. Uh, Hillary, what's the girl name that played in um, Give? Yeah, uh, uh, God, she only paid, it was like $500, $500 she played to sign into that movie. But now it she was an old movie? movie? It's something like that. It's called Boys Don't Cry or something I like that. Know, yeah, man. I forgot what it was Sometimes called. Sometimes it's not even about the money, man. It's yeah. about getting your name out there. Right. Like, it'd be people that don't have a buzz, they'd be charging for stuff. Like, you shouldn't be charging. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta earn you're trying to get on. Yeah. Tupac, yeah. Tupac did a movie, did, Tupac did a what, with Juice for only $1,500. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. But listen, man, we about to get out of here. It was nice talking to you, man. Once again, it's Terrence Henry Show. Pleasure, man. Yeah, it was a pleasure yeah. talking yeah. to you, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get back here, yeah, man. definitely do. RSVP is up next. Terrence Henry Show, we will see you next Sunday. Once again, salute to everybody always doing their thing, man. Antoine's a blessing having you here, too. And also, Antoine, up, Uptown Tiger, too, as well. Um, power's back! You, yeah, power's back. You definitely look like yeah, Tiger. Yeah, that was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. All right, we out of here, man. Terrence Henry Show. Yeah. yeah it's Twine Live Loud. Make sure y'all go check out Terrence Henry Show every Sunday, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Best show in the world. Yeah.